Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this um, prom look. Now this video is does not include the eyes. Um, that will be in my next video. This is just going to be like a kind of talk through um, of the kind of base for prom, what I think is perfect for prom. This doesn't just have to be for prom, this can be for any event where you know there's going to be flash photography, so sorry about that. Um, this can be for any event that you know there's going to be flash photography for your birthday, for your wedding, for your, I don't know, anything that you know there's going to be, you know, people taking pictures, you're going to be in pictures and, you know, there's going to be flash photography. Um, but I'm just going to kind of base it around prom because prom is coming up. Um, over in Ireland we don't call it prom, we, we have the equivalent to prom which is our Debs. So this is just basically, this is what I would wear to my Debs slash prom. Um, this will not flash back in photos, your face will look like this in flash photography. I will show you some pictures of me doing wearing this exact makeup I have on my face right now. Okay, so there you can see um, the picture and you can see it just looks exactly like it does now. There, there's no white flashback on your face because I was desperately, desperately looking for a foundation with no SPF so I have one here which is like, oh, just, it's my favourite foundation now. It looks gorgeous in photos. Um, some people, like, if you wear um, a foundation with SPF in it, it might work okay for you and you might not get flashback. But any foundation that I've worn that has SPF in it, I've gotten flashback. So, yeah, I... You don't want flashbacks. So I went with this kind of, I contoured my skin, I highlighted, I went with a nice kind of glowy um, highlighter because I just think this will photograph beautifully and it does photograph beautifully actually. And I think it will just look really nice for prom. So if you want to see how I got this photo ready base for prom, then just please keep watching. Okay, so I've already um, moisturized my face. So then I'm going to just move straight on to primer. And I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Le Magique primer today. It's a glowy primer and I just think this is really nice for prom, you know. So I'm just going to apply that kind of all over my face, but more kind of focusing on the centre of my face. That's where the most product is going to be applied. And then just kind of rubbing it outwards. If your skin is more on the oily side, I might go with a primer like, a, you know, the Professional, or I know that Smashbox came out with like some kind of good primers because they're going to make you more matte, whereas this is going to make you more glowy, obviously. Um, my skin's really dry, so I like to have as much moisture as possible in my skin. So this is a really moisturizing primer. Okay, next to add even more moisture into my skin before moving on to foundation, I'm going to spray a bit of Fix Plus. Now the reason why I'm doing this step is just because my skin is very dry and I need as much moisture as possible in it. But if you have oily skin, you can totally skip this step. Okay, next I'm moving on to foundation once you let that kind of sink in. The foundation I'm going to be using is a Makeup Forever HD foundation. Now the reason why I love this foundation is because it has no SPF so this will photograph beautifully. Um, one of the main reasons I wanted to make this video is because I remember last year when I was going to a prom or a Debs as we call it here, I was trying to look up some foundation routines on YouTube that would, you know, photograph nicely and all that. And then they'd show this foundation and we're like, oh, this photographs beautifully. But then I'd go look up this foundation and it would have SPF in it. And SPF, if you don't know what it is, it's sun cream and foundation. And that is what causes the white flashback when you take photos, like in flash photos, if the photos have flash on it. So then I'd have like a white face like I do now and a dark body. And people would think, oh, she's not matching her foundation to the rest of her body. But I was, it was just because of SPF. Now... You know, some people I see wearing foundations with SPF in it and it seems to work fine on them. They seem to get photos taken and, you know, there's no flashback. But I haven't had good times with SPF. Anytime I've worn a foundation with SPF in it and had flash photography, 
there you go, white face, brown body. So that's why I was trying to find a foundation that would photograph beautifully and this, I'm telling you, this is it. This has no SPF in it and it just, oh, it photographs amazingly. Now, I don't know if any drugstore um, foundation with no SPF in it because trust me, I was trying to find that foundation but I don't know if any. So if you do, make sure you link them down below because some people might want a kind of drugstore um, alternative to this but this is a really nice foundation it photographs so nicely and I have it in the shade N153 so I'm just gonna go and apply that all over my face I'm gonna apply it with a Zoeva 104 buffer brush I tried applying it with um, a beauty blender when I first got it but I didn't really like how it applied I much prefer it with a brush so you can see it there in my hand. It is quite dark, but it will match to my tan. It's a very kind of runny foundation. So I'm just going to start by applying this to my face. So you can see how dark it is compared to my face, but it will match my neck because my tan is pretty dark today. Like any foundation I buy is dark because I like to match it to my neck. Definitely my favourite foundation. It is kind of pricey. I think I got this for 40, like 2 euro or something, but I really think it's worth it and I'd only use it for special occasions, like if I'm going out and I know there's going to be pictures taken because it just photographs so nicely. Anytime I apply this first I'm always like whoa because it is quite dark and it's kind of orange a bit so but once I always like anytime I apply my concealer you know under my eyes and everything it all kind of just works together I promise. So next the concealer I'm going to be using is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I really really like this and um, you know this is basically what I wear when I'm going out and I know it's going to be flash photography this is what I'll wear to my prom slash Debs and um, because I know this is what photographs well and um, I'll probably put some photographs in at the beginning to show you what it looks like but um yeah I'm gonna move on and use this concealer this is in the shade NC15 it's a bit too light you know for um my foundation but we work with it because what I do is I mix this and oh, I mix the Pro Longwear Concealer and the MAC Prep and Prime and Light Boost. So this kind of brings it down a bit because this is very light but this is more kind of yellowy. So I love these two together. And then I'm going to apply that with just a Zoeva 233 Cream Shader. It's just your normal concealer brush. So I focus it right underneath my eyes and bring it down in kind of a triangular shape. <laughs> That's for the Pro Longwear Concealer. Then I move on to the Prep and Prime. This is in the shade Light Boost. And then I just kind of apply that over where I apply the concealer. And this will just tone it down a bit, make it a bit more yellowy and less kind of pale. So it's not like really intense. I also apply this on my eyes because it is called Prep and Prime. So it will prime your eyes.
blend your concealer in I recommend using a damp beauty blender this is because it will not like if you go overboard and apply too much which I probably did because I do all the time this will pick up the excess product so then you can't really you know apply too much because this will just pick it all um, up again so yeah I really do recommend using a damp beauty blender to blend it in Always just go around and blend around the outsides just to make sure there's no um, harsh lines anywhere. Okay, so next I'm going to move on and set my concealer with the banana powder from um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I'm going to use a beauty blender to set this. I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with the Bourjois Paris Healthy Balance Powder. Just, this is in the shade medium. And I'm going to use a Zoeva 125 Stippling Brush to do that. This powder is amazing. It's really, really nice. It just, I don't know, it's just the texture of it, the smell of it. It's like my favourite, favourite powder. And this just photographs beautifully as well. Okay, so next I'm going to add some definition to my face with um, some contour. And the contour colour powder thing the contour powder I'm going to use is this one here by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe it's called Fawn. I don't have the actual page that has all the name on them, but it's just the middle colour here. And I'm going to be using a Zoeva 109 Lux Face Paint brush to do this, so it's very skinny to get right in those hollows. The reason I'm contouring is because it just adds some um, shape to your face, it just accentuates your cheekbones and wherever else you want to and it looks amazing in photographs because you just look, your face looks kind of slimmer and you know, you know the deal. This shade is also the perfect contour shade because it's not an orange kind of colour, it's a kind of grey brown so that looks more like a shadow. I also contour my nose so I just apply a bit of that brush and just run it down the sides of my nose. You don't have to do this of course, but if you want to then go ahead. And then I actually, I don't normally contour around my forehead with this colour. I prefer to kind of just apply a bronzer around the outside, so that's what I'm going to do. You actually, you can also contour your kind of jawline. I don't have one, so it's good to just make one. You know, if you're getting any side profile pictures, it's nice to have a nice jawline. <laughs> then once I'm finished doing that, I'm going to take that same stippling brush and just kind of blend it out just to make sure there's no harsh lines. 
Next, I'm going to bronze up my face a bit. I'm going to be using the Cubist Lemon Bronzer. This is just called Bronzer Number no. 1. This is my favourite bronzer ever. It's matte pretty much, I think. Um, but, you know, we're going to add some glow with a nice highlighter anyway. And I just, I just love this bronzer a lot. So that's why I'm using it. And it photographs nicely as well. Like, anytime I have this on, I don't have a problem with my face looking really orange or anything. So this is what I apply to the outside of my forehead kind of to contour because it is matte so I can do that. Oh sorry the um, brush I'm using is the 106 powder brush from Sueva. Next I'm going to move on and apply a bit of blush and highlighter because the blush I'm going to use today is this one by Fuchsia. I love this blush. It's just kind of a perfect kind of rose pink colour. I really like it because I don't like a really intense pink blush. So this just applies a nice little bit of colour and it's really natural looking. So the brush I'm going to use is the Lux Sheer Cheek Brush. It's number 127 by Zoeva. And I'm just going to apply that kind of to the apple of my cheeks but blending back into that contour. A little bit of this blush goes a long way, it's very pigmented. And next to highlight, I'm going to use my favourite highlighter which is also by Fuchsia. This is the Golden Glow Highlight in number 4F01. Zero one, not um, like the letter O. <laughs> so I'm using a Zoeva 105 Lux Highlight Brush. I'm going to just apply that to the tops of my cheekbones. Also just a bit down the bridge of my nose. Then I also apply some just kind of over my eyebrows. I don't know why, I just like how it looks. And then also my cupid's bow and then a tiny bit on my chin. <laughs> everything is finished I always spray it with a bit of fix plus this isn't a setting spray but I don't think with the powders that I use I actually ever need a setting spray because it always you know lasts really well on me but if you have a setting spray go ahead and use it I don't have one this is all I have but I really like because if I ever feel like I've applied too much um makeup or anything this always just makes it look better this makes it look more kind of toned down and if you apply too much powder, this will definitely soak up the powder and just, you know, make it look better. So this applies a really, it gives you a nice dewy finish, so I kind of just dry in my face in this stuff. Okay, so once you've sprayed your Fix Plus, then the base is pretty much finished. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like with eyes and eyebrows on because it's looking very strange right now. Okay, and this is the finished look with some eyebrows and some eyes. So you can see that it really just ties the whole look together because, you know, once I put foundation on, I have no eyebrows or no eyes it just looks strange because there's foundation on my eyelashes and on my eyebrows so it just looks like I have none but once you apply it with a nice um eye it just really ties the whole look together I think this whole kind of look is perfect for prom I will have the eyeshadow look up next for you if you like I just want my kind of really glowy eye and just eyelashes and yeah so I promise you if you use the products I used it will photograph beautifully but please if you have any other products that you know photographs beautifully or that doesn't have SPF in it please link it down below because I'd love to find some more affordable products as well but for now this is all I have and this is what worked for me so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment and let me know what you want to see next or what you thought of this video thanks for watching bye